Hey, so, um, <laughs> smiling. Life's great. Um, so this week we kind of have like a touchy subject of, um, topic here. Um, it's grief. So everybody has experienced grief in some point or form in their life and grief can come from many different places that we learned. It can come from like a miscarriage, a divorce, um, losing a loved one, losing the ability to play a sport. And with, with the grief, there's, there's a lot of stages that a person can go through, may go through, or will go through. And with these stages, it's, um, it's important for us as clinicians in the physical therapy aspect or the healthcare to understand that these stages that the people may or may not go through are important for the grieving process because the grieving process is not the same for everybody. The one person can, the two, two people can have a death of a brother that they love so much or a sister that they love so much. And they can have two wildly different um, reactions to it. And it's just, it's individual based. And the person's not going to go through the same grieving process every for every life event. It's going to be tailored to the situation or what they're going through. And so it's important for us healthcare professionals to understand the grieving process and know the stages. Because there's like a fine, there's a fine line of a person going through grieving process and where we can help, we can like maybe interject ourselves or like point them in the right direction of like a support group, a friend group, hobbies, or something that they're gonna keep involved in life and just keep moving through. We don't want them to like skip the stages because it's just gonna get buried down and it's gonna come back up at some point later in their life and it's gonna be a lot worse than it would be now, I feel. So um, it's important for us to recognize these stages though because these individuals, they can go be in the grieving process and then it can turn to depression. And we need to realize what's the difference between grieving and depression. And it was kind of laid out for us in our readings this week. And it's, um, it's like, it's, it kind of, um, manifests similar, but it also does, it, it's also different at the same times. And the di the main like thing with the grieving is like you're yearning for the deceased or the loved one, and that's like the main thing for like grief. That's that's would be in the complicated grief that was right out of our text, or you're in denial of the death. But that's 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 grief. The difference between grief and depression is depression is not just grief. The depression is like intense um, sense of guilt. Maybe you could have done something. You, you feel hopeless or worthless because you didn't, you weren't there for that loved one. Your slow speech and body movements, all these little things play a key role in determining like the depression or grief. And once when we see these signs and symptoms, we need to go ahead and push them to go get some mental health counseling because this, the, the, it can be a serious road because these people aren't mentally like stable enough to like discern the between the two and it couldn't it could really go down and that's why it's so imperative for us as um healthcare professionals to um do that and we were also um given like there's like a like six stages of dealing with bad news and you would think like hey jordan like um why, why is that important to us as physical therapists? Well, we, we have to deliver bad news. And I think the spikes is is really good to delivering bad news to people because we, we tell them, hey, you might not walk again. Hey, you might not run again. You might not play your sport. It's so important that we that we like have something to go off of because one wrong thing can send these people spiraling. And it's... I, I, it's it's serious, and I've not really thought about it until this week, and I'm really glad we were given these great resources. Um, I particularly haven't had any um, any like close instances with it in the clinic other than like um, I would bring something up, and they're like, oh, my dad died or my sister died, and like I didn't really know how to respond, but like with like the TED Talks, like I've kind of like gone towards being able to like be able to talk about it or like discern like where they're at and I'm really appreciative of that.